Are you looking to get your business started? Or are you already in business and you want to get your business growing? In this video, we will go over six steps that will help you grow your business from the ground up. Hi, I'm Doug Barra. And in this video, I'm going to show you how using the six steps of mastery, niche, leverage, team, synergy, and results will allow you to grow your business. Let's jump right in. Step one, mastery. How do we start? Well, let's talk about that for a second. We've got to learn how to do certain things before we're ready for step two, because at step two, we have to build a niche for our business. In mastery, we build our foundation. Just like you need a foundation to build a house from, we need a foundation to build our business. There are four pillars to mastery. Destination, time, money, and delivery. Destination is your end game. You've got to have an end goal. You've got to have a purpose for what it is that you're going in business for. Time is your efficiency and effectiveness. This is really about managing yourself to produce results in the least amount of time possible. Of course, this goes for your team as well. Money is understanding all the numbers in your business and how they interact to generate the bottom line results for your business. Most people say that profit is the bottom line result. However, as a small business owner, the bottom line result that I want to see is cash in my bank account. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that profit in the business isn't important. Trust me, it is. And you can't end up with cash in your bank account, at least not for any sustained period of time, without it. And what I'm saying is that if your profit isn't generating cash in your bank account, the business is not performing its job. Finally, delivery is ensuring that the business provides consistent results to your customers. At the mastery level, the most important thing you need to do is provide consistency to your customers so that they can trust that your business will deliver on its promises. Completing this step in your business creates stability so that you can grow. Step two, Niche. The niche stage is about generating predictable cash flow. We want to create a business that adds value to our markets to capture consistent revenue. In this step, we learn everything we can about our target markets, our avatars. We learn who they are, where they hang out, what their interests are, what's important to them everything that we need to know to speak to them directly so that they will buy. These are the people you're going to reach out to and touch with your business. Make sure you have a good understanding of them to give them what they want and need. Completing this step in your business creates cash so that you can fund the growth of the business. Always remember that in business, growth sucks cash. That's really important, so let me say, say that again. Always remember that in business, growth sucks cash. Step three, leverage. The leverage stage is where we create the systems in our business to increase efficiency. We learn about delegating certain tasks so that we can focus on being productive. Doing the right things takes time, but doing things right saves time. In this stage, we are systemizing every aspect of the business. This is why it's important to already have the stability and cash from steps one and two. When we systemize everything in our business, it creates systems that can be replicated and scaled. In Leverage, we're creating a repeatable process for the tasks or processes we have learned to do well in the mastery stage. When we have completed this step, we create more time to do the next steps. Completing this step in your business creates massive growth potential on a small scale initially. However, as these systems are implemented and start to replicate themselves, they will produce exponential results over time. This is why this is called leverage, 
because although you might not see instant gains with this step, once it gets rolling, the profits will grow drastically. Step four, team. The team phase is about scaling from here. This is where we take our team to new levels of being a team, not just a group of people doing tasks. You see, in the first step, we build a solid foundation for us and our team to be able to perform consistently. In the second step, we created a marketing and sales machine that we can rely on the, to produce cash for growth. Then in the third step, we freed up our time. So now we can focus on building our team. I don't mean hiring more people. I mean actually building our team to work together as a team to produce more results than they could as individuals. Completing this step creates a team that can run the business as well as, if not better than, you can. Then you can put in a general manager to take over the team's day-to-day -day management and you get to move on to the next step. Step five, synergy. This is where we get to the big picture of our business and start strategizing how it can be a massive success. This step is all about learning from successes and failures to build systems in place for ourselves and our team to follow to ensure consistency. In addition, we are creating ways for us and our team to work together better so that more results are produced, which will allow us to generate more cash faster. Completing this step in your business creates massive growth potential on a larger scale. This could mean opening new locations or markets, acquiring other businesses, or building something completely different but applying the same principles. Step six, results. This step is where we get the time, money, and freedom from our business that we went into business for in the first place. We can cut out all the busy work, office politics, and managing by stepping away from it all. If we've completed steps one to five correctly, then this is where we start reaping the rewards of our labors. If you go through each step of building a business without skipping any of them, you will enjoy the wonderful lifestyle your business enables you to live. Of course, as I said at the beginning of this video, and I know we've been going on for a while longer than I normally do, it all starts with the foundation. In fact, this is why I created the Insider's Guide to Success in Business. In this book, I have outlined what you need to do to have a solid foundation for your business's growth. Inside this book, you will discover the specific steps that you can do to build that foundation, as well as how to know exactly where you are along that journey. I'm offering this book to you absolutely free of charge. Click on the link below this video or go to www.insidersguidetosuccessinbusiness.com to download your free copy and start your growth today. Once you've downloaded your copy, you'll have the opportunity to sample what it's like to have me as your mentor. I recommend that you take me up on that offer. Your business will never be the same. I'd love to know what value you got from today's video or what questions you have. Leave me a comment. I look forward to reading what you have to say. Please take a moment and like this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and be sure to click the bell to get all notifications so that you don't miss a single one of our videos. Once again, I'm Doug Barra, and now it's your turn. Click the link, download your free book, start building your foundation, and I'll see you in our next video.